If you struggle to hit your driver straight or your iron straight, I believe this is the very first video that you should watch. In fact, I give this lesson to every single one of my students and they love it because it gives them a framework, somewhere to hang their hat on. Because how often do you suddenly, you start hitting it straight and then maybe a week later or even just a round later, you start slicing it again or hooking it again. What my students love about this session is, is they follow this three step process and what it gives them is a way to get it back on track. It gives them the reason exactly why you're slicing or exactly why you might be hooking it. So let's start with the irons and then we'll work up to driver. Okay, so I think this is gonna be huge for you. I'm really, really excited. So ultimately this, the golf swing is an arc and this is really, really important. We don't play golf like this, do we? And have a straight back and straight through motion. We play golf with a ball out in front. Therefore, the club needs to work around back to straight, and then around again somehow. If you slice the golf ball, okay, you catch the ball to, as opposed to catching it perfectly there, so that would be straight, you catch it too late on the arc, okay? Your club is already heading left of target here, which will lead to two things. Either if the club face is square to that path, you'll hit a straight left shot. If it's open to that path as it goes this way, you'll hit your slice. If you hook the golf ball, it's just the opposite. You're catching the golf ball too early before it's actually got around to square, to straight. The ball can either there, either set off straight to the right of target, or if you have a close face, create a great big hook to the left. So stage one, if you want to make sure and increase the likelihood that you're going to arrive at the perfect place every time, you need to be set up. So let's focus on setup. So my first question to you is, is, are you set up to hit it straight or are you set up to slice it or even hook it? You see, this is what happens. If you slice the golf ball, this is what I'm seeing all the time. Your ball position isn't there. It's too far to the left. That forces your grip round too far to the left. That forces your shoulders too far to the left. Often then, because you then slice it, what do you do with your feet? You aim them too far to the left. Watch all this happen. When that ball position creeps too far forward, everything's aiming left. What part of the arc are you gonna hit it on? You're gonna hit it too late on the arc. This is what I've seen with uh, some senior guys I was watching the other day off the tee. They were slicing their driver massively. Now, there's a bonus tip I'm gonna share with driver where you do something slightly different uh, a little bit later on, but there, everything about them was left. Shoulders, feet, ball, and because of that, they all caught the ball late on the arc, which basically led to this. Watch this path, negative path, minus 12. Look at a 7.8 face. That massively open face, positive number means open face, leading to a slice, okay? So this is how I would, as I do with all my students, this is how I would correct them immediately. And if you slice it, this is what I want you to look for. We need to be parallel. There's your target line, there's your foot line. We don't want anything forcing those lines this way. So the first thing I want you to do is check your ball position. We'll start with this, I've got an eight iron here and then we'll move to driver. But with an eight iron, it's fairly central in our stance. Watch what happens, okay, if I move the ball position from a way forward position, to slightly further back, what do you notice? As I move the ball further back in my stance, can you see how this is automatically, if your ball goes from here, look, to further back, what is it doing, I'm exaggerating here, to everything here? It closes it off, what's that gonna do? That's gonna get me hitting the ball too early possibly, but it's gonna, for you, is gonna help straighten you out. So as I get myself set here, I'm gonna move the ball slightly now, overdo it, and let's see what happens. If I move the ball too far back in my stance, can you see how my shoulders are now aiming Incorrect, then I'm aiming too far to the right. What will that create? Well, let's have a look. Heavy, fat, watch this. Positive number and minus one. This is a hook family, yeah? Exaggerated, yes, but I've now gone too far this way. So ball position, shoulder alignment, this is gonna hugely affect your curvature. So you need to get this right. So before we move on to stage two, spend time neutralizing this ball flight. So you're not doing too much of this or too much of this. You know, play around with the ball position, play around with the alignment of your forearms and your shoulders until eventually you can start to hit the ball 
a little bit straighter. Once you've got that nice straight motion, look at this here, just a simple change in setup has neutralized my club path and my face to path to give me a much, much straighter shot. Now what we wanna do is we wanna work out how do we kind of add power to the swing whilst maintaining this. So let's now work on the body motion to enhance all this. So when you want to try and add more power to your game, this is when the slices really start to come in or your hooks start to come in. So I want to show you how you do this effectively with your body. So I want you to imagine this. I want you to imagine the goal swing. We said it's an arc. Well, how do the shoulders relate and how do they work within the arc? Well, I want you to imagine them like a swing door where basically, look at this here. The door opens here on the way back. It closes to hit it straight and then gradually opens again on the way through. That's how the shoulders are going to work, but more on a incline plane. We'll go that, uh, through that in a second. So that's all you've got to do. You've got to simply move the shoulders and time them. If you slice it, you don't do that. What you're doing is at the moment of impact, you, what's happening, your shoulders are aiming too far to the left, which is then getting you like this too far to the left, you hit it, left to target and create a big slice or vice versa. You hook, they're aiming too far to the right and you hook the golf ball. So what could be causes and how do you stop it? Most of the time, it's because golfers are excessively using their arms on the way back and they're not moving their shoulders. So what happens is that you don't open the door like you should do on the way back. Instead, you kind of do a little movement here. Your arms do the rest. Now the problem is, is when you add power, you're going to excessively rotate those shoulders on the way through, leading miles open, creating those big slices. So the stage one or stage two here, I want you to get a sense of opening the door on the way back and practicing timing it so that you're arriving here on the way through and then working back through here. So look at this here. I open the door with both my right and my left shoulder on the way back. I arrive back to uh, square, then I come through. I am not quickly rushing it and, and ending up here through impact. I'm not sliding and leaving them closed. I'm practicing timing this motion. So visualize it. You'll find for you slices out there, you'll find that when you're approaching or coming into that downswing, the sense is that most of the time the club is actually heading to the right of target for right handers. Before look, you then suddenly pivot round to hit it nice and straight. Most of the time, because you're so desperate to hit it straight, you turn too quickly from the top of the swing, forcing the path or you to hit it slightly later on this arc. I want you to get that sense that you catch the ball probably earlier in the arc to create much, much more of this draw shape. So that's all I want you to focus on. Get that sense of opening the door and not closing it quickly, keeping it feeling like it's a baby closed before finally then it pivots open just at the right time to square that club face off. And I caught that a little bit early I felt that and that's got my path a little bit out to the right, but this is the bonus. I felt that. I felt I caught that a little bit early, it's gone out to the right. Now I've got something to work with. This is the beauty of this exercise. So before I get into point number three and the really important bonus tip for the driver, look, if you're enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up and consider joining the channel. It's completely free to do so. Just press that subscribe button and the bell. Plus, head on over to dannymore.com. In fact, click the link below. You'll download the free practice guide for this video, plus get an opportunity to actually have a free swing assessment from myself. All the details are pinned in the top comment. Now, this point is super, super important. We talked a lot about you creating a beautiful arc here, opening that door and closing that door at the perfect moment to time it. Too early, hit the ball and you hit a hook. Too late, you hit a slice but the arc is created by your body motion. It is not created by your arms. We don't create the arc with our arm motion. Your arms have one role. We play the game with the ball on the ground. So something needs to take the club up and down. That's your arms. So what I want to do is this, get the sensation of your arms working up and down, not by the way, working around and around like this. That's the role of the body. So all you do, cock your wrist, pitch your arms up, get the shaft just pitched just inside your trail shoulder, feel that momentum going up and then feel the momentum just falling straight down like this. Feel that momentum just being thrown down towards the ground. Then what I want you to do is this, this is great if you slice. Your opening door on the way back. What I want you to get a sense of is this, that your arms are very relaxed and they're flowing. And when they're flowing, they're able to naturally drop. That's what they need to do. And they need to drop before you turn back 
towards the target, okay? You close that door. Most of the time, people who are slicing, they're stiff as a board. They stiff up here, and then when they turn back, the arm simply follow the turn and we get outside the line, you slice it, okay? We need you here, look, to let the arms look up. Allow them to feel up, feel up they're falling before you then turn through that shot. This is just a sensation, okay? So this is something you, anybody can practice, get sensation of the arms working up. They're falling before you turn back to the target. And that, if you slice it, will might it should lead to beautiful little draws, just like that. Okay, so that's gonna get you beautifully swinging the club up and down, help with your ball striking, help hit much straighter shots. Now, I promised a bonus tip with the driver. Now, with your driver, where's the ball position? It's forward in the stance, isn't it? So have a look at this. If I position the ball forward in my stance, what does that mean? Well, if the ball's forward with driver, surely then this is on this side of the arc. Well, Danny, you've just told me that if it's on this side of the arc, I'm gonna slice it. Absolutely, you might do, okay? So if that's the case, and it's over here, what do you do differently with driver? Well, let me show you this. All that I want you to do with driver is when the ball is forward, we know the ball is forward, we're gonna, the path is gonna be a little, you're gonna hit the ball later in the swing. Combine that with the fact that you're also leaning back, you're gonna catch it even later in the arc. So what you have to do is, but no one really does, you've actually got to start to shuffle your alignment a little bit out to the right hand side for right handers here, so that your swing direction starts to head more out to the right hand side to cater for the fact that the club's gonna come around later. So you have to counterbalance this. Nobody does this, which is why the majority of the golfing world slice their driver. So make that simple alteration with your driver to cater for the fact the ball is forward. Simply shuffle your stance a little bit more around your hips, your forearms. Maybe you get even a sense that you're a bit more closed off. And when you do that, that is gonna help you. So look at that, just by shifting my direction, it hasn't got me hitting the ball way out to the right. If anything, look, it's actually got me hitting it dead straight. So this is small alterations that I want you to make with your driver. It's quite scary if you're used to slicing it because obviously you feel like you're gonna aim towards the area that you've been hitting to and that can feel a bit weird. But now you understand the arc and the way that works. Hitting the ball, what you feel if you slice it, earlier in the arc will actually help you hit it straighter, maybe even turn your slice into a draw. Now, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and check this one out here because it will complement this video perfectly and a great one to watch next. And of course, look, click the link in the comments below where you can access more videos and more importantly, get potentially a free analysis with myself. Until next week, have a great golfing week.